Hi, everyone. This is Marie for MLS Office. Do you wish you were able to find the contact information of whoever you're looking for in any situation really quickly? Or uh, target the right audience for a mailing? Or maybe do your follow-ups on specific types of clients efficiently? Well, to be able to do this with ease, you need to build a strong and organized contact database. In this short video, I'll cover a few elements of the contact record in our software that allows you to do that. Keywords, contact types, and the custom or what we call the free fields. Obviously, if you want to do this, the first thing will be to have a contact record for everybody you know, your clients, your peers, people in your sphere of influence. Don't forget there's a way to transfer your contacts. There's a way of importing them in this software to avoid that data entry. When that's done, make sure that you have all of the information you need saved in their contact record itself. Let me open a contact record here before we move on. So I'll open the contact record of Aaron Smith, one of my buyers. Obviously, you should have their full name, that's important, and their contact information, like their phone number, their email addresses, their mailing address, that's a given, right? But you should also save more information about them so that you can, uh, you can organize your database efficiently and have all the information you need so that later on you can search through your contacts with it. Uh, we really recommend that you specify a contact type for each of your clients to determine who they are, to determine, determine which type of, of contact they are. Are they a buyer? Are they a seller? An escrow officer? A friend? Who are they? And there's a field for that, the contact type field. Specify who they are right there. There's a drop-down menu that helps you make a choice quicker. All of our drop-down menus can be customized to have all the choices you want to use regularly. So please don't forget to customize these menus if you wish by scrolling way down the bottom of it and clicking on the Modify button. Later on, you'll be able to search by the contact type of your choice to bring up for example, your list of all your buyers, the list of all your sellers, and so forth. So that right there will allow you to find who you're looking for pretty quickly. We also offer you keywords in this software to organize your contacts even further. The keywords are located under the Keywords tab of every contact record. A keyword allows you to create a group or subgroup of contacts. Like for instance, you might work with a lot of different buyers, so why not split them up in subgroups? That's what the keywords are for. Or maybe you do a lot of mailings throughout the year. Well, wouldn't it be great to have a way of finding a list of people you want to target in a specific mailing? Well, that's what a keyword could be used for. Like you could have the calendar keyword to bring up the list of everybody you want to send a calendar to every year. Or a, a keyword that's called open house invitation to bring up all the contacts you want to invite systematically to all of your open houses. So that's what you can do other keywords. Here, as you can see, Aaron was already tagged with six keywords. He's part of my calendar mailing list, my Christmas mailing list. He's part of my general buyers group the group of people I send all my new listings to. I like golf, so I created a group for all the golfers. He's a golfer, so that's why he's tagged with the golf keyword. And he is also part of the mailing list I use to send out flyers from time to time throughout the year. If I want to add Aaron to an additional group, all I have to do is open the keywords drop-down menu, which can also be customized. You can add all the keywords you feel like using in this menu. And here, for example, if I wanted to add him to my open house invitation list, I just find the keyword that represents that group or that list. I click on it and there you go. I've just tagged them with this new keyword. So eventually if I decide to invite people to my next open house, I can search. I can do a search by keyword with this specific one, the open house invitation one, and I'll see, I'll see in front of my screen all of of the contacts that are part of that group, including Aaron Smith from now on. Here I'll save because I definitely want him to be part of that group. So I'll save the modifications before I continue. 
There's more to the contact record than that. You can use what we call free fields to save additional information on all of your contacts. And what's great about those free fields is that you'll be able to search through your database with that information later on. Where do you find those free fields? Well, you simply have to click on the next button located in the lower left corner of the contact record. And there they are. I've already named a few of my free fields the way I want. When you get started, all of those free fields are blank, completely blank. It's up to you to decide what you want to name them, depending on what you want to use them for. Here I've got a few of them. The ones I really like the most are the time frame and income free fields. Those are the ones I use the most. I search through my database quite often with them because it can be very interesting to or very useful to bring up the list of, for example, of my buyers or sellers that are planning on selling or buying their house within the next six months. I really like to take note of the motivation of my buyers and sellers. Why do they want to sell or buy? That allows me to target the right audience from time to time. So here I'll call this next field motivation. Here you go. Oh, it's going to warn me that this generic field, this free field will now be called motivation, not only in Aaron Smith's file, but in all of my contact records. And here for Aaron Smith, he doesn't like his neighborhood in, anymore. So I'll call dislikes current neighborhood. There you go. And now, from now on, I will be able to uh, search through my database with that information if I ever need to. So I'll just save, and there you go. I have that new field now available in all of my contact records. And for specifically for Aaron Smith, I can now know at any point why he wants to sell or buy his house because I've, I've saved it in his contact record. So now you know a little bit more about the contact record itself, what kind of information you should save in your contact records to use your contact database efficiently. Make sure to gather that same information for all of your contacts. And obviously the next step will be to learn how to search through your contacts efficiently. And we'll be uh, creating a video very shortly to that effect. So be on the lookout for it. For now, I hope that this current video was helpful and I'll see you next time.